Hi, I'm Yannick van Doorn. I'm in Alsace in France, in Rang Rupte, at 550 meters altitude in the mountains. It's a quiet, cold climate, uh, but not like in the Alps, but uh, it's uh, cold. Uh, so, uh, I want to show you the magnetic earth antenna that I invented, inspired of the work of, of the pioneer. Just thank you, stuff flow. Here, you see the um, the magnet with the Lakovsky coil inside, beeswax around, uh, and it's uh, you see the galvanized steel wire that go through. It's oriented north south with the earth magnetic field at the south with this at the south side, and the the galvanized steel wire go through the north. And so here you see on the leak, you see the leak in the middle here is bigger than further away. And here the similar, you see here it's uh, very little and there it's a lot bigger. So this is really close to the wire. You see here the wire, you see, so you see here the wire and you see that the leak close to the wire or a lot bigger then further away. So this has have an effect around one meter each side, but uh, it will decrease with the distance. So, and that's what we see here. Then you have another wire here, you see, and there the leak is also bigger, globally, yeah? not all, but globally. And so you see also on the left, a lot more little, on the right, also more little. So you see huge effects. If you want to do a wall field like this, you you need to put one wire each meter, or like uh, three, four feet away, uh, each three, four feet, and oriented north south. Here you see um, I don't know the name in English, but you see that plant with uh, you see with this, huh? And here you see they are much bigger than there. Here they are a lot more little. So now it's end of the season. There was already one frost, so uh, uh, they are they are now uh, like kind of dying a little bit. Huh? And so it's normally it's it's normal. But you see here they are a lot more little. Why? And here a lot bigger. Uh, it's because um, those seeds were in the pyramid. And the seedlings, I made them grow in the pyramid the first weeks. And uh, you see, it's a huge difference uh, in comparison with those that were not in the pyramid. It's a whole difference. So you see that just by the use of a copper pyramid like this, uh, for example, here you see a copper pyramid to the corners. So it's important that in copper, that it is in copper, because in copper, the pyramid will work a lot way better uh, than in uh, iron or wood or, or whatever uh, on plant growth. Uh, there were comparison uh, tests, a scientific test, even in a thesis from Texas where you can uh, see that. And I have 20 years of experience and uh, around 10 years of experience on the use of pyramids and 20 years on use of uh, a lot of kind of electromagnetic waves on plant growth, so I, I began to to understand a lot, but uh, we never finished to learn. Huh? So, um, so a copper pyramid, you can make a little one or a big one like you want. For the seedlings, you with a little one, you can do already a lot. Huh? So you see already two uh, experiments with huge results that can make a wall difference that can easily double uh, your yields uh, in the field in large fields and also in your little gardens so uh, uh, i i show you it again here you see the leak close to the uh, magnetic antenna wire and here you see the leak further away it's a wall difference the leak close and the leak further away. So, wall difference. So, I wish you all the best and I will try to make you more videos in English because 
there's a lot of demand a uh, lot of uh, people asking me questions and uh, also i will make courses in english in french in german uh, that you will find of, on my page too to learn step by step how to do uh, very practically how to do that in your gardens and also in your large fields thank you bye bye